Good afternoon. This is the one you've all been waiting for. This is one of the main reasons I am traveling all around the North Atlantic. And I've ended up at Karnak right at the end because that A is the furthest away and that way by far the most difficult to get to. And B, uh, the Kiviak is one of the main things that got me interested in fermentation. It is a little orc seabird um, of which there are millions upon millions from June onwards in the fjord systems and the um, mountains around here, especially up by Sierra Paluk, um, a tiny, tiny settlement, uh, three hours by boat, um, or you can get to it by dog sled on the sea ice from December, January onwards. And they catch them by the hundreds in these big long nets, five metre long poles with a huge net on it, and they're just like butterfly catching, they're just out on the sides catching hundreds of little buggers. And the way they do it is they shoot a ringed seal, which they do all the time anyway. It's probably the main the main source of food, uh, especially in Sierra Paluk. And they empty the insides out, keep the fat in, and then they stuff it as full as they can get it with as many of these little orc seabirds as they can. So between four or five hundred of the things beak on, feathers on, guts in, everything just as they are, just dead obviously. Whacked in there, the seal is sewn back up again and all the air is pressed out and then they cover it with rocks and the important caveat is that no sunlight should touch the food. I think this has got something to do with botulism and sunlight touching the food seems to be a good marker for me. Anyway, they advise me to be wearing gloves for this one um, but I'm not going to because they're pink and they look unsightly for doing this amazing food. Now I'm outside for a reason, it's minus five and it started snowing. <laughs> but it really smells. So this is the little orc seabird, tiny little fella. Um, they've tied the wings together, which apparently is a thing. So they're just gonna unfold those like that. And then you can eat everything apart from the feathers. So you just pull the feathers off. It's not cooked or anything, no salt, nothing else in with it. Um, and the feathers, that understandably, are just pulling out quite easily from the, I want to say rotting, but it's, it's a controlled rotting, which is what fermentation essentially is, keeping all the bad bacteria out, which is, um, it's been done over many generations up here. So you have, you have the breast like that. <laughs> and then I think you just get your fingers in there and rip it up and it's, oh uh, yeah. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Not strong, anywhere near as strong as a seal. Phew. But that's the meat, really tender. And again, it's got that blue cheese. Blue cheese taste to it. It smells really bad. Mmm. It's quite a salami or parma ham notes to it. I want to say notes like it's something delicate, it's more of a smash in the mouth, but a good smash in the mouth, which I'm actually pleasantly surprised at. Wow. Yeah, that's good. I'll try and stick some back in the suitcase when I come back to the UK. Feathers don't get down so well. <laughs>